Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a review video of two different items. Um, the first item is going to be the Neon Orange Palette from Huda Beauty. Um, <clears throat> a lot of my coworkers like this brand and a um, I figured I'd try it. Um, and then also, I've been wanting to try this mascara for a while now. It is Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. And the wand looks somewhat like this. So not much product comes off on it and it's not very clumpy from what I can see just looking at the wand. So this should be a pretty decent mascara. Um, okay, so to start off, I'm going to go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here. It's kind of like a really light, almost like a creamsicle orange. Um, and I'll see, not much dust, but a lot of pigment. So let's see how this works. And again, I don't have any eyeshadow primer or anything like that because that's how I really know if a eyeshadow thing, uh, eyeshadow palette is really good. Um, but yeah, that's how I usually review, how I personally review products. Um, I'm actually loving the color payoff because it's kind of, you know, a little bit like, not of a lighter palette, but um, it definitely looks really, really bright, which, you know, obviously if you can't tell by the amount of looks that I've done on this channel, I love bright colors. So, but I will say this, this is blending like a freaking dream and I'm getting maximum like, I mean, maximum color payoff. And I'm not even having to dip into the pan more than twice because this is only the second dip for this. I'm actually really liking this right now. But we'll see how it performs and how it wears throughout the day because I will come back later on tonight before I take off my makeup. I will show you how it how it wears and how the mascara has worn for an eight hour shift anywhere. And as always, I'm gonna wing it out a little bit because that's the way I like to wear my eyeshadows, um, especially on a review. You can kind of see how nice that color looks. It's just basically my base color. Um, so there's not really a transition shade in here. So I figured that that would be the transition shade or this one down here. It's like a peachier color. But I'm going to go with like a really, really, really bright, um, really bright look today. Um, hence the neon everything. Um, and I really really glossy lip um and i am also wearing the jeffree star the gloss and diamond juice um this has become my favorite gloss um because i can wear it with just the gloss itself and then you know a little bit of powder foundation and brows of course because i can't walk out of the house without my brows done um at any point in time if you see me out and I don't have my brows done, it's probably not a good day. Because I will always have my brows done anytime I'm out of the house. Um, whether it's a little bit of gel in there, it's a tinted gel or anything like that. Um, but if you guys have a good recommendation for a tinted brow gel, leave it down in the comments section down below because I need a good one. Um, I've tried the Benefit one, the Gimme Brow Plus, and that one hasn't worked for me. It's just like a little bit of pigment. Like I need something that will actually look at, make it look like I have brows, but not like a pencil. So like not too much work. Um, and I'm wearing the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel right now. I'm actually really liking that, like I said in my review of it a couple weeks ago. Okay, so that color's good. Um, I think next I'm going to go in with probably this shade here. 
It's like a fuchsia pink or like a light fuchsia pink. I'm gonna, hmm, or not. Yeah, let, hmm, no, we'll, we'll use this one here and then go into this one. Okay, so same thing, pigment is there for sure. Oh, wow, okay. So we're gonna have to spend some time blending because I placed it perfectly. Now, I'm liking the way that these shadows are blending. Um, I'm purposely picking colors that normally wouldn't blend together. Um, so that way I can really see like how good the formula and everything is of the palettes. Um, and I'm also told that from her bigger palettes to the smaller palettes, um, the smaller palettes have better color payoff and pigmentation, and they blend a little bit easier. Um, so I am more apt to listen to people who have used it before. Um, but so far, the eyeshadows are definitely something I like a lot. Um, not sure if I would recommend it yet, because again, I want to test it and see how it will work throughout the day of it wearing. Is it still going to be this bright at the end of the night? I mean, obviously it might not be exactly this bright, but it will be very, very close to where it does look really good. So you can kind of see a little bit right here. I didn't focus a lot of color there because I'm going to go in with a deeper shade, this one here, and kind of do my under eye and kind of wing it out a little bit more and make it look a little bit better. So I'm not really too worried about that area, but it is blending very, very good, and I like it a lot. Now with this shade, I am going in with a little bit more because pinks are notoriously harder to formulate. Um, so I do have to probably use a little bit more of this shade, but I'm okay with that because this is looking very, very good. In person, this is blending really good, and I'm sure it's looking a little bit crazier on camera, but, you know... It is what it is. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend it into the orange and on both sides, take the excess and kind of just blend a little bit more. So this is so far the look. I'm really liking these two colors. Um, Like I said, I'm really liking this so far. So here is the like hot pink color. I'm gonna take that under my under eye and kind of create that part of the wing with it. Okay, so I'm really liking this palette. I might just be able to tell you right now whether I like it or not because the pigmentation and all these colors that are here are literally crazy. The fact that it's this good and I've only been using it for maybe a couple minutes now and I'm like falling in love with it. Um, I would definitely recommend this for you guys for sure because this color like here I'll scoot closer like do you see all of this this is like crazy it's like crazy good then I'm just gonna kind of blend it in and go into my inner corner and we will do swatches of the other color 
other colors so that way I can see. Yeah, I'm, I'm sold. I'm definitely probably going to go back for the pink one um, and probably do a look with that one too. But these palettes are literally only $29. The fact that it comes with the mirror and everything, I like that because it's really good for travel. And again, I'm just winging it out there so it kind of looks a little bit better. is done. So you see kind of how it's starting to look? This is looking really good. Sorry, I'm concentrating on blending this. So I want to make sure everything's blended. Okay. I'm looking in my own mirror and in my camera and in the palette's mirror. This is some good stuff here. So I am actually gonna go in with this shade here. So, so far the shades that I've used are this one here, this one, this one, and this one. So I'm almost using just about every single shade. Um, the only two that I haven't used, only ones that I haven't used yet, are these four here and this one. Um, I am gonna go in with this one to kind of do the center. And then I'm probably going to do the bright yellow on the eye. Or no, do the pink on the eye and then the yellow in the inner corner. Boom. There we go. Oh, yes. And then you bring a little bit more. And kind of connect them and blend at the same time. Yep, I like this a lot actually. Great. I'm also trying to watch the time because I'm supposed to be at work at one today. And I'm closing with one of my favorite managers, so. Tonight should be fun. Okay, so everything else is done except for shimmers. Um, and as usual, I go in with some setting spray to um, take the shimmers to the next level. Um, it's just what I generally do with every single eyeshadow um, that's shimmery, um, especially no matter the brand. So we'll see whether it'll actually, you know, work or anything. Um, and so far, I'm not really getting any 
color off of them. It's actually taking the... Here, let's see. He has a different brush. Okay, there we go. I think you got to use this palette with, if you're using doing the shimmers, you got to use it with no Fix Plus or anything like that. Um, because I went in, just went in with a dry brush. And this is working and looking a lot better. So, I would say... Do it without any Fix Plus or anything. And it should look really, really good. I'm just kind of blending it in to my crease area. And then I just take whatever access I have and then blend that in. So you can kind of see what it looks like a little bit. I'm actually really liking this. Um, now that I figured out how to use it. If you know me at all, you know I gotta add a little bit of bright inner corners. So, like I said, I think I'm gonna go in with the yellow neon shade in there and here and do that. And add a little bit here. Okay, for the inner corner, I am gonna try to see if it's just this or it's just something else. Um, I need to get a new setting spray today too, so. Hello work money, gone. how bright okay now in camera or on camera this probably doesn't look as blinding as it is in person um, but this is like highlighter orange or highlighter yellow like brightness right now and I'm actually living for this right now. Oh my gosh. I am so missing out on this brand. I'm kind of mad I haven't been trying them out sooner. This side looks a little bit lighter, so I'm going to continue to add some more. Okay, so this is pretty much it all complete um, for the eyeshadow portion. For the mascara, I'm going to do that off camera and then I'm going to come back and do my final thoughts and everything. Okay guys. So, the verdict on these two, if I can hold on to it long enough, the verdict on these two guys, this, I would definitely say go get it for sure, um, because I swatched the other stuff off camera and everything, in the colors just from swatching it but also all the uh, different colors that I used on my eyes like they're pigmented as all hell like they 
are literally blending so nicely. Like, you can just look at that. Like, the packaging and everything is great. I love the packaging. Highly recommend this palette for you guys, for sure. Um, mascara. So, it's not as, like, crazy as everyone else said. Now, mind you, I only did one coat. And I normally do two coats on mascara. But... For something like a natural mascara, just wearing just this and like brows and your foundation and stuff, this is probably like a best bet. Um, for me, I've used the, you know, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I like it a lot. Um, but I'm going to see how a second coat of mascara will do. I want to show you guys a second coat because the first coat has dried. Um... The second coat helps at all. Yeah, no, the second coat help, helps a lot. Um, so it's definitely just me being picky and nitpicking on everything. Um, but... Yeah, this mascara is definitely it. I like this a lot. Um... Now that I put the second coat on it so I can see like how it really works. Um, let's do it on this eye too. Cause the lashes on this side are a little bit better than my left side. You would think they would be better cause my left side is my good side. But. Yeah, this mascara is definitely a good one. Um, you don't have to use a whole lot of product either because not a lot of product comes off, um, which is also a very good thing. Um, I definitely like this. I had to clean up my mascara right there because it got on my colors. Um, but I'm honestly actually kind of happy with this. This all looks really, really good. Um, Honestly, I would recommend both of them for sure. Um, one coat is good just for natural. Um, and if you want more like more busy and like really voluminous lashes, I would say go in with a second coat because you really get the pigmented black out of it. And I'm sure if I, you know, actually like curled my lashes, it would make a difference but I don't even own a lash curler for myself, so I'm not even worried. But honestly, definitely recommend. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend the eyeshadow. Just the colors and everything are like so good. Um, but that concludes today's video. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.